Today we're going to be breaking down 5 visual mods that I used in chapter 1 and hopefully it breeds new life in your Skyrim playthroughs. So if you're fully committed to immersion, skip fast travel and try these mods. Before we get started, in case you haven't seen it yet, chapter 1 of the Skyrim RP mini series is out, link in the description below. With that being said, let's jump straight in. In these scenes from chapter 1, I don't think I showcased the water mod that I was using that well, so we're gonna give it some love. It comes in three different flavors, Nordic Blue, Tropical Green, and Mineral Teal. For this video, we're using Mineral Teal. Water for EMB makes the game's water look next-gen. I don't think I've seen the game's water look this good before. It looks like the ice caps of Skyrim just melted to give it this pure water look. The water looks so immersive around the shoreline, I mean just look at these ripples. And that ain't all, you can visibly see the foam that wraps around objects like rocks in the water and waterfalls look like actual waterfalls unlike the chunky mess in vanilla Skyrim. This mod is criminally underrated with less than 3000 endorsements on the Nexus. Now if you're playing on a potato desktop or a 3 year old laptop like me and are hoping that your machine doesn't have a meltdown one of these days then Cathedral Landscapes is the way to go. It's not the best looking grass mod out there, but it sleeks better than vanilla, and it's performance friendly. In these scenes where the camera was low on the ground, I was actually having some clipping issues with the grass, and it didn't look that great up close, but from a certain point of view, it looks pretty good. And the Tundra version really pops with the right weather and lighting mods. These next two mods are gonna require Dine Dulod or Logen to get their maximum effect. Now in these scenes where we're showcasing the landscape, I actually screwed up here and forgot to install the LOD files. You can kinda tell if you look real close at the distant terrain, but for the most part it worked out. So now let's talk about Majestic Mountains. This mod is more of an overhaul than just retextures to be honest. It not only changes how good your mountains look, it changes most of the game's rocks. It also changes architecture in Markarth, since the entire city is built out of stone. It also makes changes to architecture in Whiterun. And lastly, mountains look different during day, night, or any type of weather in Skyrim. Next up we have Skyrim 3D trees and plants. Skyrim is covered in trees and dense forests. From Falkreath to Solitude to the shithole that is Winterhold and even the plains of Whiterun. Okay maybe one or two there. This mod takes the trashy vanilla trees made out of lego bricks and makes them look next gen. But to get the best effect out of these mods and make Skyrim really immersive, it really pays to use their LOD files. So far these mods add some detail and beautify Skyrim quite a bit, but the texture mod Skyrim 2020 Parallax by Fusher brings all that together and so much more. Majestic Mountains and 3D Trees actually benefit from this texture mod, and oh boy does this mod drastically change everything. From roads to walls, the textures of trees, some of Majestic Mountains rocks, the clutter, to animals, to some special effects, 
interiors, exteriors, DLC content, you name it, this mod covers it or will eventually cover it. And this mod is frequently updated with new and improved textures that are added every update. If you ignore the rest of the mods in this video and just download this, your Skyrim visual experience would be mostly complete. The catch? It's over 9 gigs and each true RAM like a bunch of Namira's cannibals. Shh! You mustn't speak about such things away from the shine. Only you and your dinner guests can know. If you're someone who doesn't use fast travel and likes to get immersed in the world of Skyrim, then give these mods a try. And that wraps up this video covering some of Chapter 1's visual mods. If you'd like to see more of this content, hit that like button, subscribe, and turn on notifications. Thanks for watching all the way to the end. You've been awesome.